Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Overwatch League Pick'ems. Uh, so, final week of Mid-Season Madness uh, qualifiers kind of went to be expected, especially for the East region, uh, except for one. One match that I think everyone expected to go in sealed favor went in the favor of the Philadelphia Fusion. Absolutely baffling match here. I, I still do not understand what sealed did, really. Was not expecting for Soul to take their first loss of. I think it's the first loss of the midseason madness run, especially the fuel or the fusion. Uh, was pretty unexpected because Soul were looking ever so dominant, you know, these past coming weeks, and it was really surprising seeing the fusion take them down. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, even like the previous day against the LA Valiant, they were looking really good. They look like the same seal that we that we expect uh, against a uh, pretty much reborn LA Valiant. But then when they come against the Fusion, they just look kind of bad, which isn't but, something we've expected from the Dynasty. Yeah. You know, I think it's more like, okay, so I don't think they're playing too bad that game. I just think Fusion, this is their peak play. This is their highest of elevation play. MN3, oh, that is some of the nastiest gameplay I've ever seen from an Overwatch League player, period. Like, sheesh, those shots that he's making, especially on Circuit Royale, just amazing. Yeah, we are hitting, uh, not necessarily playoffs, but tournament fusion which is notorious for either for either being extremely dominant up to the end or just being absolutely terrible so we'll have to look and see what happens in that bracket however yeah. for the west region a lot of things went awry uh for example the houston outlaws now we were expecting houston to take at least one of these matches against new york or boston pretty handily However, both games went map 5, which kind of gives it elevates the Excelsior and the Uprising a little bit. However, that really knocks down people's expectations for the Houston Outlaws, I feel. Yeah, both these teams are already out of the tournament. So, you know, on one hand, you know, Houston kind of glad about that because they won't have to fight them again. On the other hand... Most of these teams would be easily beat by any of the other teams, so I think Houston's going to have to maybe step it up because uh, I think some of these teams in the midseason madness are going to figure out Houston's game plan since so they're very uh, uh, gimmick team and they have their team comp, and if anyone figures out that team comp, then they're just done. So uh, we'll have to, you know... Houston Outlaws, good luck in the tournament, but you're going to need it. And I do, moving on from the Houston, we also got to see a bunch of different looks from uh, teams. You know, this week we didn't think it was going to be much since most people already slotted in. But one game that did have a particular impact was that Fuel and Spitfire what are your thoughts on Fuel and Spitfire, and particularly some of the matches that, or some of the maps that went inside it? London, I feel, took those games really close, regardless of if they, because I mean, like they, they did take a map off the off the field. That's not anything that we can really dispute. But I think London took a very close game on all of these maps, and I think it just came down to the fact that uh, Hanbin and Fearless have equally as good flexibility as Paco and Hadi. However, I think that Fearless and Hanbin's uh, skill is just a little bit higher than both of them. And I think that's really what kind of tilted into the favor of the Dallas Fuel. Yeah, but we also cannot forget the lovely C9s in that match. We had four <laughs> together, and three of them were on one map, which the one that Spitfire won. It was a, uh, and they were pretty egregious too. Like, wow, those are some of the most, uh, like, <laughs> egregious C9s I've ever seen. But speaking of egregious C9s, we're also going to talk about one more game. 
the Washington Justice and the Vancouver Titans. Oh boy, this game was. It was very close to being like on par with the Toilet Bowl of 2020, of how ridiculous it was. And just. Oh man. This is not the level the Washington Justice should be at right now. Like, this Washington Justice team looks like they could get beat by any team. I think it's because they even the Vancouver Titans. Like, oh, this was not a good game for them. And that this was very easily a Titans game. This could have been easily uh, 3-2 in favor of the Titans. You know, had the the push bot uh, did the butt scratch thing. But it doesn't do that in overtime. Or it didn't. And that's what that's what made them C nine. Oh boy, watching that game was a absolute roller coaster of emotions. Even if you aren't a fan of any of these teams, you know, because I think at this point it's hitting to the like point for the Vancouver Titans, uh, onto the level of that of like the Valiant and the Dragons with their losing streaks. At this point, we're just wanting to see Vancouver finally pick up a victory. And this match against the Justice looked like it to no end. Like, everyone, I think everyone was like, oh my god, Vancouver's actually going to do it. Uh, but no, they completely choked, and here we are. Uh, status quo was, uh, had returned. Uh, Justice beat the Titans. And honestly, it was a bit of a disappointing <laughs> game for Vancouver, although they played that game really well, I think. Yeah, if you ever, if you ever need proof that franchise history exists, look no further. But with that being said, the midseason madness bracket has been created. Now the way that it works is the bottom four teams, or the bottom, yeah, no, what was it? the bottom eight teams were pitted against one another. In which the winners will face the top four in the same style of how uh, picking shows worked the uh, last tournament. So the winners of of uh, mat of the tournament week matches will be picked by the Shock, Fuel, Glads, and and Dynasty to decide who's going to be facing who. Now to start it off. We have the London Spitfire in the Atlanta Rain. The last time we saw these two go against one another, we saw the fact that uh, wasn't it London that lost to the Atlanta Rain, or was it the other way around? No, London won against the Atlanta Rain. That was the moment that we knew that this London Spitfire team was an actual contender. It was that map five victory, the Chotty moment. And I really, and I don't think. Are I'm we uh, I think London's got this game. Uh, it's going to be close still. Uh, I am going to give the rain a map 5 here, but I do think they're going to be knocked out uh, in this match. Yeah, I think... Mm. I, yeah, I want to say... Losers. I want to say... Don't quote me on this, but I want to say rain are going to learn from the mistakes. I want to say that... Although London is a very fantastic team, I think they're much better than a lot of teams that are in midseason madness. I think the Rain still have that element of being the top tier team. I think if they could just tap into that and not choke like they did uh, the first time that they fought this se uh, season, then I think they should be all right. But I think it'll definitely be close. I think it's going to go either way. Would not be surprised if London takes this. In fact, I was mostly thinking that London was going to do it, but I think I have that feeling now that Rain are going to pick it back up. You know what game is going to be close, though? Shanghai and Toronto. I, I kind of disagree with you there. I think that this is going to be our first look at a clash between NA and APAC, and I think that the APAC or the NA region is much strong at a much stronger point. The APEC region, so I think a mid-tier team in the, uh, so let's see, the uh, NA region could probably take it to the Dragons. However, the Dragons still are a top team. That's why I think they're going to win. It'll be a close one. I mean, also, let's look at 
uh, how the how Shanghai has been performing here lately. Shanghai has been 3 0ing pretty much everybody right now. Toronto, the best they could muster up is one map against the Shock. Other than that, they've been pretty much steamrolled by every other team this tournament. Uh, Toronto, they're looking a little better, but Toronto has just not been a very good team this year. Uh, which is unfortunate because they do have really good pieces, but uh, when it comes against the Shanghai Dragons team, it is I think that hands down Shanghai is going to win this. Uh, but I am going to say that Toronto can pull off a map. It all just depends on how Toronto plays their cards. And well, here's another. Here's the uh, f two teams who have already faced each other: the Fusion and the Spark. You know. Uh, so, what do you think about Fusion and Spark? Man, like this is actually kind of hard for me to pick here because. We look at Philly's match against the the Dynasty. They won three one. Spark couldn't even take a, take a map off Seal the last time they faced one another. However, Spark and Fusion have had really close games this entire season. So I think that it really could just come down to whether or not Spark can get to their top game like they had been previously. Uh, and if Fusion wants to bring their playoffs uh, strength, or if they want to just be the Philadelphia Fusion. Uh, I mean, if M3 plays like he does, and the rest of the team plays like he did in that soul match, it all just depends. Are they going to play like they did last week? Because if they do that, they shouldn't have a problem through this tournament, at least until the later stages. But if they, you know, are there, if they are the Philadelphia Fusion of old, even though they're a new team, uh, I I think they're gonna probably win this. I think, even at a disappointing point, I think the spark is also at a disappointing point as well. So it's just, I think the fusion will probably win this because I think the fusion's highs are better than the spark's highs. I think this is just gonna be a tournament of us disagreeing on how this is gonna go because I see the spark winning this. Uh, again, I see it being close. I think that uh, it really could go either way. Uh, I would like to see Spark win this, as I am hopeful for the Spark. I think that they really have a good spot here. And it just matters on how well Philly plays. If they play late last week, uh, Fu Fusion has his hands down. But if they don't, I think Spark could easily take this. And my prediction is based in reality. Now, here's another match that I think that a lot of people are a lot more unsure about. That being the Houston Outlaws and the Florida Mayhem. Uh, Houston just got uh, just won three map fives in a row uh, against the Atlanta Reign in week three, and then against New York and Boston last week. Uh, and Florida really has been looking all that good at all. So, where do we see this match going, honestly? Again, I think I think most of these teams are probably playing their in-game. I don't think any of these teams, or at least I'm not counting on any of these teams winning the bed immediately. So, I think that both these teams are going to bring, like, you know, are going to be at their highest points. And something, I think that you should not lose high points are just better than the Florida Mayhem's high points right now. You know, uh, Florida Mayhem are kind of at a mid-tier spot right now, but I think Houston at like a high point could take it to most of the higher tier teams, so I think Houston's probably going to win in a very close series because I think both these teams very even in uh, general skill, but I think Houston has a better high than Florida does. Now, I do, I do actually agree with you on on Houston winning this. However, I don't think it's going to be very close because we look at, at Florida, right? Uh, they only have one tank, that being someone. And his... While his Winston is very strong, we have to look at the fact that the meta is more shifted around tanks such as Sigma to who someone really isn't very good at. And Houston has in 
incredibly strong Sigma player in Piggy. Mm -hmm. uh, they can even play Doomfist with Dante. And I think that Piggy just would completely bowl over someone uh, as could Dante. So I do really think that this is an easy win for Houston. But now we have the picking show. Uh, who do you think the shock is going to pick? So the shock, the shock, I think are going to pick. Let's see. They, I think this year they like to go safe, but man, uh, my choices that I have right now are, you know, doesn't really look all that safe. But I do think I have them picking. Let's see. I think probably whoever wins the Outlaws or Mayhem game, because I think both those teams are at a weak spot right now. And so since I, we, I have Houston winning that one, I think they'll probably pick the Houston Outlaws. Personally, myself, uh, I think that Houston is definitely a, a top contender for that match. However, I think that a team, that, in my opinion, is doing worse than the Houston Outlaws and the Thor Mayhem is the Hangzhou Spark. I think that Shock's going to be taking, uh, picking the Hangzhou Spark. Even though they did pick up that win against the Fusion in a either a close game or a very uh, dominant one. So, what about Dallas Fuel? Uh, Dallas Fuel. Well, we can't. I can't give them a battle of Texas. So, I think they might want to go. I don't think they're going to want to go with my other top two ones, the Atlanta Rain and the Shanghai Dragon. So, by default, I think that guess that means they're going to pick the Philadelphia Fusion. Now for Which me, should be an I interesting think, game to see. I think Dallas is going to play it safe and pick a team that they beat just this past week, the London Spitfire. So the last team that gets a choice uh, for me is the LA Gladiators, who get the Shanghai Dragons and the Houston Outlaws. Uh, isn't that actually the same for you? Uh, Actually, let me see. I think... Oh, no, you gave Shock uh... Houston. Yeah, actually... So you have what, Shanghai and Atlanta? Uh, I have Shanghai and Atlanta left, yeah. This is a difficult one for me to pick because... Does Glad's want to go for the really strong play and face off against the Dragons? Or do they want to face off a team that they really haven't performed the best at against in Houston Outlaws? Uh, hmm. Well, I don't know, but I think for my thing, I think I'm probably going to pick the Atlanta Rain because I think Glider just probably know that they can win against the Rain. Well, so, they and. Off, they didn't. Yeah, they kind of. I'm pretty sure they won last time. No, that was during the Gladiators notorious get reverse swept streak. That was Dallas and Shock. I thought that was... I thought I could have sworn that was Glad's, wasn't it? It was in Kickoff Clash. Yeah, Glad's got reverse swept by uh, Shock and Dallas. I thought they, they won against... reverse swept by Rain. No, I'm pretty sure they won last time they went. Alright, whatever. But I do think that Atlanta is a good pick. But for me, uh, I don't have Atlanta... Uh, I'm actually going to pick the Shanghai Dragons. I think the Gladiators are going to want to uh, be able to take on the top threat and to prove that they are uh, coming into this as the true champion of the kickoff clash as they go up against the defending Overwatch League champion, the Shanghai Dragons. Which that leaves me Houston for Seal to pick. Well, I'm leaving. Uh, well, I have the Shanghai Dragons left, and they're going to be facing Soul Dynasty. So we'll get to see another match of that. You know, how many times have you ever seen that? This, uh, Can we stop geez. seeing Seal Shanghai challenge? Impossible. All right. Well, uh, first matchup for me, uh, the San Francisco Shock and the Hojo Spark. Uh, what do you think about this match? Like, how would you think this would go? Let's see. Uh, Hangzhou Spark. Well, I think Shock win that one because, like you said, Spark's not really in the best state it is right now. 
and Shock is, you know, currently number one seed. Also, uh, undefeated regular season. Looked even better than they did uh, their last <laughs> undefeated uh, stage, basically. So, uh, I think they're probably going to win that one. I mean, that's a good guess. And same for me. I probably have it same score for Spark because I do Houston right now. Yeah, I am. I, I do have Spark taking the map. Uh, Shock, while they're really strong, it's been proven that they can that they can lose a map here and there. And I think Spark is going to be able to do it. Uh, on what map, I do not particularly know. But I think that it would happen somewhere in this match. Next up is... Well, you know, let's start with your match. You have Dallas against two. I have Dallas against Philadelphia Fusion. So this one is going to be a pretty interesting one. Because it's another APAC versus NA match. So... It's going to be a lot harder to predict. And I see this one going either way. I personally I think going in the favor of the, of the fuel. I think that yeah, like, I think they, they just looked way, really strong last week. Uh, and even like Fusion looked really good last week. But, I mean, they I lost the map to the charge. Like, that's just that's something to put into account there. If he, didn't Fuel go to, like, Matt 5 to Nixel? Any, anyways, uh, I just... I have Fuel winning Matt 5. Uh, so... Because I think Fusion's high is pretty good right now. But I think Fuel is just that top team. So I have them moving on. So I have Dallas going... Uh, I have Dallas London going the same way that it went this past week. 3-1 for the, for the Fuel. So next up is the gladiators and the dragons for me. Uh, again, this is a this is a hard one for me to predict because it is NA versus APAC, and it is also two teams that well, one team that is really strong right now and a team that is kind of wavered back and forth here, uh, at least in the early stages of the tournament. Uh, but now Shanghai has returned to their former glory. And really, how do you see this one going? Because personally myself, I see the Gladiators actually winning this. Uh, yep, I see that one. Or I see them winning that one too. I see it going Cause... close though. I actually have it going map 5. Uh, I think that it could go either way. Yeah, I think Shanghai look much more beatable than they have in previous years. And I think Gladiators, you know... I think being part of the upper echelon in NA really means a lot, considering how competitive that region is. Alrighty, in the next matchup, we have... Oh, yeah, what, what about your match for Glads? Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. So I have the... I had Gladiators against the Rain. And, like I've said, they've already beaten the Rain before, so... I think they'll be able to do it again this tournament. Yeah. So I, I think I'm going to make it 3-1 close, but not too close. Because I think the Gladiators are just on a probably a different level. Yeah, I do see Glads winning that match uh, regardless. <clears throat> and now uh, we have Seal versus the Shanghai Dragons for you and Seal versus the Houston Outlaws for me. Uh, again, I think both these matches could be a little unpredictable. Uh, At least you right. yeah. Oh, Dynasty versus Dragons. It's uh, rivalry as old as time. But I think at the moment... Hmm. At the moment, I'm going to give it to the Shanghai Dragons. Because, you know, throughout this season, Shanghai's usually gotten the better of them. And every time Seoul wins... Shanghai really knows how to get back up and beat them again. So, and I think, yeah, I generally think the dragons are going to, you know, best a soul this time. So, I do think that this is easily a seal game. Uh, but yeah, for Houston. I I do think that Houston's going to take a fairly close fight. Uh, definitely not going to be able to take more than one map 
uh, even if they do take a map. But I think that regardless of the of the final score, I do think those match it, those maps are going to be a lot closer than what one would expect. Uh, so now on to the elimination round on Wednesday. Uh, for me, I have the Atlanta Rain and the Houston Outlaws. How do you see this? Uh, mine's entirely different from that one, but yeah. I'm going to look at yours right now. So Rain and Outlaws, it's, you know, it's just about seeing if, uh, you know, Rain cannot uh, choke again. Because I think throughout that game, Rain mostly had it. Uh, they were looking pretty competitive with Houston Outlaws, but there was just something missing there, and I think the Houston Outlaws took advantage of that. I think if Rain can, if Rain brings their A game, I think they beat the Houston Outlaws in that one. Now here's where I think that uh, actually Houston has the advantage here against the Atlanta Rain is because uh, we look at uh, both their teams' squads here. Uh, Atlanta has essentially one tank. Uh, Hawk is pretty much a go-to. Uh, I don't even recall seeing Gator play this tournament. Uh, and if he did, he probably didn't perform very well. Uh, it's been kind of a status quo for this entire season. Is just the fact that he's just not as good as Hawk. And Hawk is pretty much just taking on all the, all the heroes that he used to play. So Hawk is basically Atlanta's solo tank. While Houston has two, they have Piggy and Dante, uh, they definitely have flexibility. Uh, although Hawk does have flexibility as well, he can play pretty much any tank in the game right now. And I really think it just comes down to whether or not uh, Hawk can be the solo tank uh, with no leg tagging out to a different player. And while I think it's possible... I do want to give it back to the to the Houston Outlaws, and I am going to give it a basically a a redo of their other week three game. Uh, it's going to go map five in the favor of the Houston Outlaws. Well, my elimination game is totally different. I have the London Spitfire versus the Soul Dynasty, which, uh, you know, you have the hot underdog versus the uh, top of the APAC region right now. All in elimination round one. It'd be sad to see both these teams go uh, round one, but one of them have to go. And I have it, unfortunately, Spitfire going out. You know, London or London's pretty good right now, but I think they just have the unfortunate, uh, you know, place of facing two very good teams in their tournament. You know. I think they lose the rain, and I think the, the dynasty will also have not too hard of a trouble beating a Spitfire. Yeah, I do think that uh, Seal would probably win this, but I do think that they could be a, very, a somewhat close game. Yeah. Uh, I think it just depends I think it on could be how close. well teams can take, and these APAC teams could take on Reinhardt. <laughs> so, next up, we have. Uh, for you, who is it? Well, I have Rain and Defiant. It looks like you have Shanghai and Defiant. So, Defiant is the team facing two teams, and I think, I think we could both agree. I think, hopefully, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, yeah, D Defiant's not winning. This. Defiant's going out. Yeah, Defiant. <laughs> but... it, 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 for me, Defiant couldn't be Shanghai. Uh, in the first game, and I don't think they're going to win again in the second one. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I think Rain the three at this point. I think at this point, yeah, I think I will give them a, a map against the Rain, but I think Rain at this point, you know, they only lost the Gladiators, which, you know, yeah, I think most teams would, and I think Defiant is at a point in a tournament where they're probably likely to get knocked out first. Just whoever team they win or they fight against. Alrighty, so next up in the elimination round one, uh, for me I have London and the Fusion. Uh, 
this game is probably one of the hardest. It is a rematch of Grand Finals 2018. And it's almost entirely... It, well, it is entirely different squads. It's out of Carpe uh, on the Fusion. So... Personally, myself, I see London winning this uh, in fairly dominant fashion. Hmm. I could see that. It's just for, for me personally, I want to see London uh, run through this loser bracket quite a bit. Uh, so my I love is I think they're definitely solely into this London I think, squad. I think they're definitely. I think. Most teams are going to be looking at London, so there's maybe not a high possibility of that, but they're definitely a hard dark horse for sure. But what do you mean my elimination is a dark horse? Oh, yeah. A uh, wonderful watchpoint reference. But uh, my bottom half is uh, very uh, similar to my bottom half of the first in the tournament week because I have Fusion and Spark going again and I think it's probably just going to be the same you know I, I'll give Spark a map this time maybe they want to fight to stay in a bit more but I think Fusion are probably going to win uh, against the Spark in that one and the reason I was saying is very similar to the first day because my next game is the Florida Mayhem and the Q's not was. And again, I think this one could probably. No, I think Houston's probably going to win it again. And yeah. probably a bit more handily, too. I'll probably say, like, I really have it on map 5. I think this will probably be like 3 1. You know, Houston at that point, you know, they already faced the shock. And anyone after that is, like, you know, lifting off the training weights. So, so Mayhem's going. Let's just say this now. Uh, Florida, no Adam, no win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no Adam, no, Adam, no win. Uh, Justice for my Australian boy. Yeah. So, for me, for my final game of elimination round one, uh, I have the mayhem in the spark. Uh, I, I have this going 3-0 to the, to the spark. Uh, I don't see Florida being able to do much against this team. Uh, especially since Spark has so much versatility compared to Flora, who can play Winston. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Well then. So, on to the day... What is this, three? Yeah, three. Uh, we have the Shock versus the Dallas Fuel. Uh, I'm, yeah, for both of us. Who mm -hmm. do you have for this, honestly? Because this is the, probably the two juggernauts of this tournament. Uh, I'm only basing it on midseason madness right now, which, you know, in this meta, I think Shock has it locked down. I think they know what to do. I think it's just so they're just so good at it. Like they like they know how to do it, and they win every time. Like. It's sure they did have a pretty easy schedule, I think, again, but that's not to understate the uh, the twelve one zero record right now. I think it left me a close game for sure. Feels looking pretty good right now, but I think Fuel had a lot more hiccups in the mid season madness than the Shock did. Yeah, <laughs> I do agree. Uh, Shock is gonna win this, but I think that it will be. A close game because I think that Dallas is still a very strong team even though they had their downs uh, it definitely is potential for Dallas to pull a very close game if not even knock shock into losers so next hmm. up we have the gladiators in the dynasty or meanwhile me, I yeah, have... you have seal losing yeah. don't you I have the Gladiators versus the Dragons. So, I mean, for so me, it's I have your, I have the Glads, I have that Glads yeah. Dragons match, uh, the same way that I would if it were my winners round one, with it being a map five win for the Glads. Yeah, I think, I think I'm probably gonna get it even more easily, 
in a map four victory for the Glads. You know, you know they just look so good. It's gonna be hard for anyone to stop the gliders. Yeah, I do see that being potential. Uh, and in my match against the Dynasty, I think that this is probably going to be the most exciting match of the tournament. This is what I think everyone wants to see, is the Gladiators and the Dynasty going head-to-head right now. And really, I think this could go either way, because you have phenomenal players on both sides. Great synergy and just absolutely almost on-point play here from both teams. And I think the Oilers and the Glads aren't number one seed right now is because of their hiccups in kickoff clash. But other than that, I think they've had a completely dominant performance, uh, as has the Dynasty, even though they have lost to the Fusion this past week. That being said, I am actually going to give this to the Dynasty in a map 5 victory. Interesting. I think we're both going to have shock and glass for a second. That's... I really want to, but personally myself, I really want to see Seal Shock. That's the only thing that's kind of tipping me here, is I want to see Bolt, number one seed versus number one seed going head-to-head. <clears throat> uh, so, down in Eliminations, I have the Outlaws and the Dragons. <laughs> oh my god, I can stop coughing. Uh, who do you have? Who would you have winning this? Because I think that this is a fairly easy one to predict. Yeah, the d- uh, dragons probably take that one. Well, Wouldn't you agree? Or we disagree? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think Houston could take a map, but uh, other past that, I don't see Shanghai being able to drop much off. Uh, drop much against this Houston team. Uh, I think Houston's a really strong team, but comparing them to the Dragons, it is just n- not even a uh, nine day. Yeah. Houston has this. Uh, uh, Shanghai has this on lock. Uh, no matter what Houston tries to throw at them. <clears throat> My elimination run team is a bit different, though. I have the Dynasty versus the Rain, and in this one, I think I'm going to give it to the Dynasty. Would. Uh... Uh, would you agree on that one, or do you have a different take on that? Um, I actually do agree. I think, it's, yeah, I'm gonna give map four. Maybe a bit of a fight, but I think Seoul's probably gonna take it. I don't think Atlanta can beat Seoul even on Atlanta's oh, on their best day. So Fair. next up for me is the Spitfire and the Spark. Last season, we may have seen this being uh, a lot easier to predict. However, this season, it is not that not the case. Uh, it is a very close game, I feel. Uh, both teams have immense versatility and a lot of strengths and a lot of weaknesses. But when it comes to just how they can play the meta, I think that London has this personally myself. Yeah, I'd I'd probably say Spitfire would probably win that one. Like, if they're getting that far in the tournament, like you have them, I think, you know, they'll probably be able to beat teams like the Spark. Although I do see where they're going to be thwarted here. But, you know, hey, it is what it is, right? right my elimination round two is going to be the Philadelphia Fusion and the Houston Outlaws. And that this point, I think Fusion are going to beat the Outlaws at this point. I think... Like I said, if they do manage to make this far, they are going to show that they're probably bringing their A game at this point. So I think the Fusion's you know high is probably a bit better than the Houston's high. I personal so I would give it to to Houston. Uh, I think that comparing players like Merit to MN3, Merit is a lot better on like Sojourn than uh, than MN3. Uh, yeah, but then again, we have seen a lot of we have seen a lot of Ash, and MN3 is by far the better Ash. Like, no ch- no competition. Yeah, I mean, even when it comes to tracer play, uh, Carpe versus either Dante or Pelican. I think Dante and Pelican have uh, Carpe on that by a mile. Uh, Carpe. That's 
Uh-huh. Pretty good on that too. Zest is pretty good on that. I still think Zest Tracer is as good as as uh, Dante or uh, Pelican. <laughs> I think this really could go either way because it really just depends on how well Fusion's playing on this day. Uh, because yeah. Because we have seen the fact that Fusion can just randomly drop the ball when they feel like it. Yeah, it could uh, be arguing that, that. That could easily happen. Houston could easily 3 0. Uh, Fusion could easily 3 0. Uh, or it could be in that five. Who knows? <laughs> just, Houston, in reality, might be out of the tournament by uh, Wednesday, but you know. Yeah. We'll see. So, back to winners. Uh, one game for winners here. Uh, for me, it is the Shock and the Dynasty, a game that I think everyone wants to see here. Yeah, and I have a shock and glads. It's, uh, everyone's going to want to see that one, too. But probably more or less yours, since number one's made. I'd love to see that one, too. But unfortunately, uh, Soul's kind of down in the loser's back right now. So here but, yeah. we have... So, so for both of us, we have two of the strong, uh, two immensely strong teams going against one another. Uh, in your... And for, for me, when it comes to shock glads... Uh, I, I mean, I, I honestly want to give it to the gladiators, <laughs> which is a really weird thing to say, but I do want to give it to the gladiators in a map five. Mm, maybe it is, this one is like extremely hard for me to predict because I know like whichever way I do it, I feel like I'm going to get it wrong because like, I know Gladiators probably mo on most days win this, but, like, I still just the have the phrase... The defending champions, bro. I still just have the phrase never been against the Shock just embedded in my head at this point. But so... The Reds have the, the, the yeah, have NA champ difference. Yeah. They have the diff, bro. I think, uh, you know, maybe this could be a reverse sweep. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I feel like that is a very real possibility with how this just season goes right now. So who do you have winning? Uh, I already said the shock. Because I had that phrase, never bet against the shock in bed in my head. <laughs> Unless you're Danny. Never bet against the I'm, shock I'm, unless it's the I'm Utah not, laws. I'm not Danny, so I'm just gonna bet with the shock. So here's where <laughs> I think the bet against the shock comes in. Uh not on the Glads match, but on Seoul. Uh you know, both of these teams are absolutely dominant, but I think when it comes to the team that is better I just, easily. I just think it's a region diff. I just think it's a region diff, honestly. Like, the number one uh, seed for NA going against the number one seed in APEC, I think APEC's probably a weaker region of the two, considering there's not that many teams, and most of the teams that are in there are more or less, like, mid, uh, like, kind of in the middle of the pack area. We are some good teams, like Seoul, Shanghai, and sometimes Philly, but the rest of them in there, they aren't really that great of competition. As to say, like, half the teams in NA, which could easily take it to the shock any day of the week so i think shock's probably gonna be more prepared and all that yeah that is why i have seal only taking a map off the shock uh i think that both teams are really strong but shock is just way too it's just much stronger than seal ever could be uh and back down in eliminations uh here's where the juggernauts kind of are at uh, yeah, the Juggernauts are down losers now. Yeah. Uh, fighting for their... Fighting for to stay alive. Fighting to stay alive. We have the Fuel and the Dragons. Ah, uh, man, this is a hard one. <laughs> Who do you have? Who would you have for this? Because, really, for me, this is a hard one to predict. Years past, I would have said Shanghai probably easily. But I think now... Now seems like a good time for the Fuel to pick it back up and I think the dragons I think a, a good team to kind of pick yourself back up with your fool so I think I just think I think fuel 
Uh, they're just more stable than the dragons are sometimes. I think, like I said, it is a region diff, and I think Dallas is like part of the top three echelon in NA right now. Yeah, I, I do actually have to agree with you. Uh, I think Dallas has this. But it's hard for me to not say that it's going to be a lap five. Uh, I, yeah, I, is just, it, they're still such an amazing team. I uh, I think the only reason why they're why they're ranked so low is because if we look at both of their round one, their week ones or I guess technically like what week three and week two uh, of both of these tournaments you could see that Shanghai kind of fell apart in in their first weeks of both tournaments and yeah, that's why of, they're placed so low. Yeah, speaking of region diff, I have the. Uh, Dallas Fuel taking out the Soul Dynasty. I think it's probably going to go the same way that uh, yeah. that you have yours. It's Matt Five. I think the NA region just is generally more stable and better in ways than the APAC region is. So I think the Fuel is probably going to take it to the Dynasty and the Matt Five. <laughs> All right. Uh, so for my last elimination round three. Uh, I have the Gladiators in the Spitfire. This one, I just, I want to give it to London, just because I love London so much. But, man, this Gladiators team, man. I'm going to, yeah, I'll be... give London a map, but I think overall, Gladiators has this match completely uh, overwhelmingly. Uh, I agree with that. I will give it a 3-0 to the, to the, to the Gladiators. Mainly because I don't think I have many 3-0s this tournament. No, I really don't either. I really should. Wow, there it's all 3-1. Jeez. I might change some of that. Yeah, I was like, every team was like, man, they, they could take a map. <laughs> yeah, they could take a map. But no, like... You know, I'm, I'm flipping to the 3-0 to first Spitfire Fusion in my elimination round one. <clears throat> and you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll make Shanghai 3-0 Defiant in round one as well or elimination round one because Shanghai likes to really swing back when they have their back against the wall alrighty so for you what is your uh, elimination round three match two so I'm gonna say uh, uh, any more three O's and uh, you're gonna hate me for saying this but my uh, my game is the dragons and the fusion. I think it's going to be a massive upset here. I think it's going to be the fusion taking it again to the dragons, like they have done previously throughout the seasons. Maybe not in the three zero. I'll quote give them a map because why not? But I think the fusion squad, you know, I think they can probably the bed and Shanghai is going to win. They could do that. That's always a possibility. It's not the it's possibility, not, it's but not, also... It's not that it's a possibility. It's just inevitable. Inevitable? Oh, yeah. You just gotta believe. I think it's the new fusion. You know, they were able to get second place in uh, the APAC. Uh, let's see. The APAC kickoff clash. Which, you know, good on them for a team of pretty much just rookies. Incredible. So, I think... And Carpe and AM God and Fury. Okay, maybe not, but <laughs> I think they could probably beat the Dragons in a playoff uh, game like this. All right. So, Elim right. round four. Uh, no more winners winners matches as Shock is for both of us locked into grand finals. Uh. The Dallas Fuel and the LA Gladiators are for me. Is that the same for you? Uh, Dallas Fuel and the LA Gladiators? No, it's... Uh, I have LA Gladiators in uh, Elimination Round 5. Oh, yeah. I have the Dallas Fuel and the Philadelphia Fusion. And I think, you know, we have seen a bit of more hiccups from the Dallas Fuel recently, and Fusion are starting to look pretty yeah, good right now. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think it's probably going to be a very close game, and I feel like it could be, I don't know, maybe a reverse sweep coming in. Listen, I think the future... Dallas I <laughs> went map 5 in New York, but but Philly lost a map to the charge. Like, N Nick's a little sure they're, like, one of the worst, but, like, god dang, Nick's was proven that they can take map 5s to decent teams. I mean, Paris took a map to the fighters at once. Valiant. Paris could take a map off of, <laughs> what is it, the gliders, so anything is possible. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, what do you got for Dallas and gliders? Sorry if I'm being a bit goofy now. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I feel I like I feel like gliders are probably been the one. Uh, I think Dallas looks really good, but I think comparing them to the gladiators, they're, the glads are just a lot stronger. And they've just been really dominant. I I just think the Glads have this match. Uh, it's gonna be close. Uh, like a lot of these games, this seat this tournament. Yeah, like a lot of these games. So to end out eliminations on Saturday is the for me it is the Gladiators and the Dynasty. And uh, what do you think about that? I think this is going to be another interesting one because yeah. you know, for you, you've already had this one, but I think this one could definitely go a different way. It definitely could, uh, but I think when it comes to it, uh, Seal just kind of drops the ball when it's when it means the most, and right now it means the most, uh. They they got knocked out, and at this point, it's more so, can Seol come back from that loss? And it's been proven before, they just can't. So, personally, myself, I think I'm going to give it to the Glads in a more convincing fashion. Uh, you see, last time I went uh, a map 5 victory for the Dynasty, uh, and they lost a map to the... Uh, to the shock, but where I have it, Dynasty just completely fumbles here against the Gladiators in a 3-1 loss. Hey, I have a question for you. Huh? Do you believe in miracles? Is that why you're going with the Houston Outlaws? Well, I'm saying the Philadelphia Fusion are going to take it to a at 5 against the Gladiators. You know, they did take a map to the charge, or the charge they take a map. So what? Paris did to gladiators. You know, we're not debating stuff like that here. But I think MN3 could easily, or I think the Fusion DPS line could probably take it to the gladiators DPS line. I think Fusion, it's much more comparable now than it is probably ever that the Fusion have. You know, this Fusion squad is really looking like a. A uh, team that could easily beat, not easily beat, it'll definitely be a map five, but I think Fusion are probably going to win against the Gladiators right now. So that's what I have. What are you smoking? Do you want to you wanna tell me? Because you're definitely smoking something. Uh, Glads have that. I, I think. 3 1 at best. <laughs> It'll it'll be uh it'll definitely be a uh, close one. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt gladiators. I think any day of the week, I think it could be either or. Any day, but, but I'm telling you, it's much game. more even. It's much more even than you think. On a good day, if you roll the gacha machine, you could get a good one, like uh, reinforced data. But that's more or less with the justice. But I think this team is like it, this team is like the justice. If the justice were good on their like. If they're like you know, and it's just what I feel. Oh well, Glad's easily had that match against the the fusion for me. All right, uh, in our I grand finals. We both have the shock, but for you, it's against the fusion for some reason. And mine is against the gladiators, the defending champions. So, who do you have? Uh, uh, let me guess. Fusion Heats the Shock. Well, 
I don't think I thought you would know. I thought you could know where I'm going with this. We haven't seen a lot of map uh, map sevens a lot, at least in a while. I think we're overdue for one. So I'm gonna map, map seven. seven with the Philadelphia Fusion in, a map seven in favor for the shock. Wow. You see now. Here's where I'm actually gonna kind of agree with the scoring. I. Uh, I think it's going to go map 7 in the favor of the LA Gladiators uh, looking to defend their championship successfully with their winners with their losers bracket run. Uh, Gladiators could, has done it before, they can do it again. The LA Gladiators are your mid-season madness champions. I think I don't know, man. I think my uh, tournament is definitely uh, accurate. I think it's probably going to win that yeah, fifty thousand dollars. Philadelphia is going to go to winner, go to grand finals, guys. Trust me. Trust me. Okay, they might not go grand finals, but they might make it very far. No, they won't. <laughs> they might make it there. Losers round one, I think. Yeah, losers round one. They're 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 fumbling this ball hard. Trust me. Listen, good at that. if there's anything Fusion's good at, it's getting second place. There's one thing Fusion's also good at is dropping the ball round one. I think you know, Fusion honest, Fusion, Fusion want to add Fusion want to add another one to the title or to their uh, collection. So in addition to my collection. I don't know, man. <clears throat> Fusion dropping the ball, that just seems very likely. I feel... I don't know. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, I will... I, I will yeah. submit my predictions. And they are submitted. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah. The tournament is set that's, locked. That's that's proof in case uh, it, it gets deleted like last time. Yep, it is on It is on camera that I, that I saved it. That I submitted it, so if it's not there, one, I'm gonna be very upset, and two, I will have proof that I'm right. <laughs> uh, I don't know. If I didn't go for some uh, dramatic story, I'd probably be wrong anyway. So might as well do a funny. And uh, you're gonna do a funny. Yeah, have have a... There's like a small possibility, but at least if that small possibility comes true. I'll be the only one with it. I hardly doubt you will. Have you heard what, of the you other people? Noise? Like, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Let me unsave my prediction real quick. <laughs> yeah, let me unsave real quick. Make them lose. You know, just haven't been knocked out round one like they probably will be anyway. Yeah, I do generally think the fusion could go far, and they might possibility. <laughs> I, we could be underestimating the APAC region, like, hard, and that, like, the top three teams, like, the Soul, Dragons, and Fusion, are just gonna, like, take it much better than we'd probably expect. Because we really just don't know. APAC is really different than uh, NA is right now. <laughs> yeah, but, man, the, the region dip, though. I, I don't see Fusion going very far in this tournament, but it don't really matter, right? Uh, our predictions are locked, so what's the point of our game about it now? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully this tournament turns out like one of our brackets. Uh, hopefully mine, and I can win that, like, what? I, I don't even know how I don't even know how much money it is, right? It's like $50,000 for a perfect one and 5000 for the best. Yeah, so... Perfect bracket looks possible here. So I, I'm already throwing away fifty thousand dollars, but you know five thousand that's up for the table. Fusion win or get to second place. Well, thank you guys uh, so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time uh, in two weeks with the start of the summer showdown. See you guys with Junker Queen. Yeah, with Junker Queen.